Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. GoldenEye 007, oh, well, it, it'll end when I beat the game, but I mean... Okay, fuck it, I wanted to make a cool reference to a band I really like. Anyway, Fligit is the next level that I'm doing in this Let's Play. Oh, yeah, get, get excited, because I am excited. Double O Agent, oh, yeah. So, like I said last time, this level gave me some trouble last time I tried it. Rescuing lots of hostages, kind of a bummer. Disabling bombs, eh, kind of a bummer too, so... And the layout for this level is really weird, because we're actually on a boat. Yeah, yeah, cue the song, okay, we get it, but yeah. <laughs> it's weird. We are we are on an actual frigate, so that's what we're doing here. And, oh, I'd never noticed that before, it actually kind of... Oh, well, actually, maybe it... Maybe it, you can see it okay on yours, but on my TV, it's it, this last word gets cut off a little bit. But, uh, yeah. I, like, yeah, so... Oh, and what's this? Maybe a board? Okay, I should... Thighs of steel, you say? <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess that joke kind of says itself, actually, so, well, alright. Starting the level! Yeah! Get you some! Wow! Frigate stuff! Yeah! Woo! Frigate. Another one with really cool uh, music, by the way. Oh, we were on this cute little boat, by the way. It's so adorable. And we actually start with the, with a submachine gun, only 20 bullets in it, but still kind of cool. Of course, we have the pistol, too, and actually, I think I'm going to stick with this pistol for now. If not just for the... Whoa. <laughs> Hello, N64 graphics lag. So nice to see you. Uh, but yeah, if not just for the fact that we have so limited ammo, and you, you can blow through it a lot quicker when you've got the submachine gun, so this is it for now. But I just kind of want to admire the sights for a minute. I mean, uh, you know, he's got this, uh, this nice line on the horizon with no land in sight, so we are really <laughs> stranded out here. <coughs> and yes, this is debt 60, debt N64 graphics lag. Like this missile thing they got here. So I mean, just gotta admire the, take in the sights. And yeah, the layout for this level is particularly strange. Uh, and there's really no set path. I mean, it's it's very non-linear, which is great, but also weird. Uh, and I know... Okay, shit. Yeah, I was gonna say, I know that there's definitely that guy there. Oh. There. Oh, oh, hey, what's... Hey, where you... No, where are you going? You're doing it wrong. <laughs> where are you going, man? I just wanted to hang. Yeah, there was obviously guys in here, but is there a hostage? Somewhere, maybe. Okay. Yeah! Boom headshot! <laughs> Wouldn't it be so annoying if I played that noise or played that sound clip every time I got a headshot? Yes, it would be very annoying. Oh, it's a good thing I turned around. Oh, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm picking up some ammo here. Okay, good. Now we're. There, there we go. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, still gonna stick with the pistol, at least for now. Yeah, ammo really is a limited resource, you know. Oh, hey! <laughs> I just shot his head off. <laughs> and that, that was another demonstration of how, like, if you get up right up close to somebody, like, so that you're practically standing right next to them, they actually can't shoot you. They shoot right past you. And yeah, that guy was guarding a ha uh, not guarding a hostage, but aiming at one. Hostage released! Woo! Oh crap, he's got it. Nope, oh, nope, nope. Damn it. Damn it. Couldn't, uh, couldn't. That other guy walked right in front of him. Hostage, what are you doing? You're a hostage. You can't even read. I am getting my ass kicked. Holy piss. Ah, piss of the holiest degree. Alright, saw a guy. There he is. Ah! Man, they. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Cue the remix of him running in circles. <laughs> Okay, I, I had to do that, but anyway, hostage escaped. Awesome. So yeah, so we're we're one for two. We we managed to rescue one, and another escaped us, which is a bummer. But uh, can't say I, I I think you have to rescue most of them, but you don't have to rescue all, which is good because that would be very demanding otherwise. Okay, let's do this. Actually, let's go to the silence one. Yeah. Oh damn. Because we're so sneaky. That's why. That's why we're using the silenced one. Really gotta play it safe though now. I can't remember how many hostages exactly we have to rescue, but um, I think we have to at least see all of them. So we gotta gotta seek all of them out. Okay, let's just shut this door. Okay, fine. You know what? Door, fuck you. I'm not going to the lower levels yet. 
I'm pretty sure. I want to stay at least kind of in order. If there is an order to this, I want to stay sort of to it. I don't know. I'm trying what I can here. Right, yeah, because we came from this direction. This erection. <laughs> and there's stuff in here. Maybe. Oh, no stuff. Okay. Well, if there were stuff, we killed the dudes who were here. I think there's a hostage behind here somewhere. There is. Cool. Cool. So far, so good. Hostage released. You bet your sweet ass. You bet your sweet hostage ass. Yep. Yeah, and, th and that's the other thing, is that once you kill the one guy who's guarding the hostage, they run no risk of being executed unless you shoot them. In fact, I'm even almost, almost certain that you can't, that, uh, that unless you shoot the hostage, other bad guys can't harm him. So aside from the one guy that they're assigned to, no one else can kill a hostage. And another fun fact is that if you go up to this guy and either shoot it or press B, it'll set off the alarm. And you don't want to shoot off, you want to, don't want to set off the alarm. So... We're going to select the bomb diffuser, and we're going to do it the right way. And there we go. Alright, so not only did we... Oh, the Fanta. Ooh. That's another... Do I want to use two Phantoms, or do I want to use... Oh, and I've got a grenade. That's nifty. I don't know when I picked that up. Do I have a second? Okay. Well, for the sake of being awesome, yes, we're going to use two Phantoms and look like a fucking badass doing so. Haters going hate. Oh, that was a lot. Makes me sad. Oh, and even though it's diffused, you can still shoot it and set it off. I wouldn't advise it, but you... If you felt so inclined, you have that ability. Just like you have the ability to shoot him in the face. Yeah! Woo! Uh, this, this, another one of those moments of self-realization when I, I just wonder what my neighbors must think of me. Because I'm... I'm sure they're hearing me right now. I wonder... Why they think they... I wonder... Maybe that quiet bearded gentleman across the, across the way isn't so quiet and gentlemanly. And instead is loud and boisterous. All right. Well, I think, think I use that word a lot because I try to do it a lot. But I think we're good on that end there, at least on the upper levels. So now we're adventuring to the lower levels here. And while I'm over here, might as well plant the tracker bug on this helicopter. Shazam! Oops. There we are. Cool. And and, and just to point out. The Phantom's a fucking- look at that! It's so cool! It's such a badass weapon. Uh, I, I love it. But, uh, yeah, no reason. I just wanted to, to show off how badass the Phantom looks. So we still gotta rescue more hostages, and there's one more bomb. For defusal. And I think, yeah, we can, we can venture on this way. Why not? Oh. And this was- I mean, I mentioned before that when it comes to, like, the loudness of certain weapons, that it can be- uh, I, I guess, not abusable, but, uh, what word am I looking for? Um, I don't know. No, it's, or, where you can, where, yeah, where you can at least abuse it a little bit, because in most cases, and with most weapons, if you shoot it just once, and then, like, wait a certain number of, you know, like, a, a few seconds, and then shoot it once again, you won't, uh, you won't alert people. Like, it'll behave like it was a silenced weapon. Oh, I got him. Oh, cool. So that, like, so, I mean, you know, it won't alert people around them unless they're directly next to them. Which is why that, uh, when I shot that one guy in the head with this very unsilenced weapon, the guy next to him didn't immediately get alerted. So, it's, it's a lot harder unless, like, I guess unless you're shooting with burst fire, so. The secret in a lot of these cases, and it is exploitable, there's the word. It is very exploitable, especially in later levels when, uh, you really have to be stealthy, but you gotta... But if you're low on ammo on your silenced pistol or something like that, you gotta make do with what you got. Oh, hello. Forgot about you. But it's all good. You're free. Free as the wind blows. Okay, he's gone. Good. So you have to use that kind of one shot. Oh, almost shot the hostage. I'm a, I'm such a good guy. Such a good, good guy. Alright. A string of good luck so far. Yeah, you've gotta use that one shot thing to your advantage as often as you can. I liked that, uh, that, you know, the hostage just ran off, and this guy just, eh, not gonna worry about it. Not my jurisdiction. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm pretty sure there's a hostage down there. I hope I haven't already screwed the pooch. 
figuratively or literally speaking. Okay, I see people. Oh, hey, hey, what's going? What's up? Not much. Just getting shot. <laughs> what you thinking about? <laughs> Secret agent stuffs. Uh, there's a hostage. So, oh wait, can I see him? I can see the hostage. You can kind of see something. Yeah, that's definitely the hostage, but I can't see the guy holding him up. So I'm going to be very sneaky and sexy. Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. All right, so he's free. Oh, hey. <laughs> are, okay, maybe <laughs> maybe that, that in some cases maybe the guards are just stupid because I mean, I was unloading on the guy right next to him and he did not even bat an eye, so yeah, th maybe that just works in my favor in that regard, so. Well, I haven't haven't really, oh man, I'm really low on health. I haven't really had a good chance to really demonstrate that one-shot silencing thing, but, uh, in this level at least, but you'll, you'll definitely see what I mean, uh, in a few levels, I think. So, uh, alright, anyway. I know my explanations for things can be a little garbled when I'm trying to do a bunch of stuff and not get killed in a game. Uh, oh, so that was, those were all the hostages, that was the last of the bombs. Well, you know, this really wasn't so bad, actually. I think we're, I mean, yeah, this is, we've seen, I think, all there is to see. So I don't have any more content to show off. I, you know what? I'm going to chunk this up to a successful level. And then I turn the corner and a guy shoots my head off, but no, seriously, I think this is good. Just going to make my way out. And... Yes, yeah, we came out this way. That's good. That's good. Very good. Indeed. Mm -hmm. British accent. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm playing as a British secret agent, so I guess I can, you know, make a bunch of... <laughs> a bunch of really stupid jokes about, you know, about terrible accents and everything, so... And, well, we leave the, the way we came to our sweet little <laughs> escape action boat, I guess. All right, all right, put the gun, yep, straight in the tie, yeah, yeah, well, you gotta, you gotta always stay classy after killing, what, 40, 50 guys, and rescuing all but one hostage, so, yep, there we are, all's well that ends well. Yeah, 40, uh, 40 guys, so yeah, that's, that's classy, gotta, gotta keep it classy. And, all right, that does it for that level, good times, well, so far so good, and here's the return of surface. God, I fucking hate this level. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's a pain, it's a, it, the level's a pain in the ass. But it's a super pain in the ass in the 007, or the, the 008 at difficulty, so... I'll, I'll stomach through it, but god, it's such a pain in the dick. But, uh, oh, there's more surveillance equipment, there's more... Just, bleh, just don't like this level. Um, and you'll you'll really see why when we when we start it, but... Um, yeah, just... Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this one, but, uh, well... I, I do it I do it for the fans, I do it for the lulls. But, alright, well, that does it for now, though. I'll see you guys next time when we begin Surface Part 2, Electric Boogaloo, and I'll see you then.